Grandpa! A letter's arrived! They're gonna leave us hanging on Ferris, huh? Sid, Mid, how's it going? It's me, Barts. Guess somehow we made it back. Feels like that fight was just a bad dream. Since then, I've traveled all over. Seems like everything's become peaceful, like before. The Chancellor of Tycoon is in great spirits. He keeps crowing Princess Lena. Huh. Wait. Lena is certain that Ferris will return someday. Wait. Lena. Uh, uh, Ferris was still dead when that fight ended, wasn't she? Everyone in Bal is worried since they have no heir to the throne. Are you saying because not everybody was alive during that finale, not everybody comes back? Maybe Carl will be queen. Pretty crazy, huh? <laughs> I went back to Lix. Figure I'd spend time near my folks until it was time to hit the road again. Oh yeah, so my best friend just had kids. Next time, stop, stop by to see them. They're real cuties. It's been a year since then. I think I'm gonna go back there. Back to where my friends rest. If, if any of the others happen to ask about me, no, they'll definitely come. Tell them I want to see them again, okay? Huh. What or what happened to her? Is this supposed to happen? Or does this game have multiple endings? I've only seen this ending a couple of times. So, I, I don't remember. Were you really sucked into the void? Hmm? What was that? Cause where I heard something, no need to be here yet, or maybe I'm just getting old. Like, I swear, I thought Bart went back for Ferris to rescue her in the ending. I thought that's what ha was supposed to happen. If Galif and the others hadn't been there for me, then I'd be... The crystals have been restored and everything's peaceful, but for some reason I'm sad. I 
I guess it's just that... It's because Ferris isn't here, I suppose. Eh? Galif? Is that you? Show off. Oh, there she is. Took an entire year, but you finally decided to send her back. Told you, didn't I? Wasn't your time to come where we were. At the end, after the battle with Exeth, I had nothing left. I didn't have the strength to escape from the void. I could see you guys go farther and farther away until you were just tiny little lights. Then, little by little, I started feeling better. Then I heard my father's voice. Wasn't your time to come to where we were. That's not your dad. The crystals have regained their power. This time it's up to us to protect them. Like dad and the others did. Say, do you hear that? Aye, that I do. Grandpa's voice? No, just the wind through the trees. The rippling of the water? Just the crackling of flames. The settling of the earth. Don't know. I'm not sure what it is, but... I can hear it. Yes, something warm. Let's go! That's not the direction of the exit. Yay! So that was a sudden change of music. Was that supposed to happen, or is it because of shoddy programming with the port? So! Credits time! Wow! And so for the first time, I have beaten Final Fantasy V. And using a challenge run, no less. Mind you, having a summoner who could duel magic certainly did not afford me much challenging. My... I can't open my messages if you keep spanning my messages. My family is trying to get a hold of me. Oh, wow, that's a nice view. My family's trying to get a hold of me because I was supposed to be over there like 10 minutes ago or some amount. Oh boy, I would love to include some part of this ending in the thumbnail, but I don't want people to be aware that I succeeded at beating the game. Considering I've already died against X-Death twice, there needs to be that question of whether I'll succeed in this stream. Like these custom sprites though for this ending. And apparently those chicks are already big enough to be rode on. So, yeah, Final Fantasy V. Such a shame that this did not get released until on the Game Boy Advance. Would have been nice had the original version been released. I mean... Uh, years ago, I heard people say that Final Fantasy V was not a great Final Fantasy. Like, the music was meh compared to the other two on Super Nintendo. And, like, the story was 
more generic than the other two on Super Nintendo. I disagree. This is a great game. We should have totally got it. Maybe the job class system would have been a little bit difficult to get a grasp on, but I think we could have figured it out. I mean, had this been on the Super Nintendo, I probably would have certainly rented it at some point, and it probably would have been right up there with my love for Final Fantasy 4 and 6. Uh, now then, there's a question of when the next time I'll do this challenge. I don't know that I'll be doing this next year because I've already wasted all of my material on this playthrough with all the making fun of the story and that sort of thing. The only difference between this and another run would be what job classes I'd get from the challenge. So I might just wait a couple years before doing this. Or I might do it on like Diet Dre, cause that would be different enough I guess. Definitely not going to be doing a regular Let's Play of this though. I mean, I had to stream this three times a week to make sure that I finish this game in time. And although I have a few weeks to spare, I'm uh, not entirely confident that I would have been able to get through this as a regular Let's Play, because regular Let's Plays, especially for me, tend to be kinda slow. Also, there's a question of what I'm going to be doing after this game, now that I have finished this challenge run. Uh, I said at one point that I might be doing Pokemon Silver, and technically that's going to be the case. But I think I'm going to be doing that as a Let's Play, so that I can do some editing here and there. So, it'll probably be, be happening at YouTube as a Let's Play. As for what I'll be doing here at Twitch, I think I'm going to be moving one of my YouTube Let's Plays over here. And that Let's Play is going to be Shining Force. I had been doing a regular Let's Play of Shining Force at YouTube, but like I said, when it comes to RPGs, I'm kinda slow at Let's Playing them. And this game proves that certain games would be beneficial to be streamed. I feel like I could make better progress at Shining Force as I'm, if I were to stream it here. So that is the plan there. I don't know when I'll be resuming Shining Force. I'm going to go ahead and finish my other two projects currently at YouTube, take a short break, and then I'll be starting things up. Pokemon Silver at YouTube, returning to Shining Force here at Twitch, and also, of course, will be Diet Dre. Which, by the way, I have come up with a clever slogan for. Diet Dre. Let's plays, but without the filler. Or something like that. I'm gonna tweak it a little bit. Oh boy, this was definitely a fun game. I don't know if it would be one of my favorite Final Fantasies. Sometime I need to, like, do a proper playthrough of this without having to be challenged. Try out all the different job classes and find out what the best strategies for different bosses would be and find all the secrets. Hmm. Would be fun to do a regular playthrough. But as far as the challenge run, the challenge run was also fun. I mean, the fact that I had a dual casting summoner kind of made things a little easy towards this latter half of the game. I feel like it would have been more interesting had I had something other than a summoner. But like I said in the last stream, if I didn't have the summoner, I'd probably still be collecting tablets at this point. Having the summoner really sped things up. Okay, here's the ending screen. I'm gonna wanna screen cap this and send it to 
the four job fiesta to confirm that I have beaten this game. Now I'm not sure what they do once they have that confirmation, but I assume they donate a little extra money towards child's play. Which again, that's what the entire purpose of this challenge run was for child's play. Which is a charity that provides hospitals with toys and video games for sick kids. And with that... Alright, and with that... I'm gonna say that down at the bottom of the screen is all of my patrons. So, was definitely a fun run. I will see you guys on the next one. Thank you guys for watching. Out of curiosity, is there anything that happens when I press a button? Oh, a new passage has opened beneath the waves. Yes, I'm aware of that. So, like I said, that bonus dungeon I was talking about opens up completely only after you've beaten the final boss. But again, not going to do that because I will not survive. Okay, for real this time, I'm ending the stream. Thank you guys for watching.